Hello, welcome to the, this video on the anatomy of uh, the skull again. In this video, I'll talk more about uh, the two parts of uh, the skull, that is uh, the cranium and uh, the face of uh, the skull. But before I do that, I would like to state a few you know, issues about uh, the skull. The bones of the skull are normally classified as uh, flat or irregular bones. You have a few bones that, are, that appear like, as if they are flat such as the frontal bone on the cranial aspect or the rostral aspect. Then also the nasal bones appear somewhat flat. But you also have uh, quite a number of irregular bones, such as uh, the occipital bone here, and also the sphenoid bone. All these bones are the pterygoid as well. All these bones are rather irregular in shape. And uh, in terms of location, the skull is located at the cranial extremity of uh, the vertebral collar. And as I said, it is divided into two parts, that is uh, the cranium and uh, the face. Now, the, the cranium is uh, composed of uh, those bones that, uh, those bones of the skull which actually immediately surround the brain and which are incorporated into the floor and the vault of uh, the brain cavity. So you have uh, these bones here which immediately surround the brain and these are the, the, you know, the, the bones of the cranium. So these are the brain case bones. Then, uh, of course, uh, you have uh, the face, which uh, consists of uh, bones of the skull, which are not part of the cranium. Okay? So the bones of uh, the cranium consist of uh, single and uh, paired bones. Just like uh, the facial bones as well. They also consist of uh, single and uh, paired bones. The facial and uh, palatal region is uh, specialized to provide a large surface area, you know, saving uh, respiratory and uh, olfactory functions. Okay, and uh, a long surface uh, area for the implantation of uh, the teeth. So that is uh, the function of uh, the face. Eh? Where, whereas uh, the cranium is, uh, the, the, the bones of the cranium are specifically, you know, uh, responsible for enclosing the brain. The face bones are responsible for providing a wide surface area for various functions such as attachment of teeth and uh, other functions. So the brain uh, case, which is also the cranium, the, so the cranium is also known as uh, the brain case or indeed uh, the cranial cavity. This is separated from the cavity of uh, the nose or the nasal cavity. The nasal cavity is here. So the brain case here at the back is separated from the nasal cavity, which is this region here, by a perforated bone or by a perforated plate of bone, which is known as the cribriform plate. So the cribriform plate is just part of a bone known as the ethmoid bone. So it is, uh, when you look inside the nasal cavity there, there is a hole that is created there that we can see. The ethmoid bone has been removed in that region there, inside, at the back there where there is a plate that is separating the left and right holes. So that place is where you have uh, the ethmoid bone separating the cranial cavity, which is uh, in this region, from uh, the nasal cavity, which is in that region. So caudally, the large opening through the occipital region, uh, which is uh, the foramen magnum, allows for the passage of uh, the spinal cord and its associated vessels. So this is the foramen magnum which is bounded by these occipital condyles on either side. So you have this hole here in the center. That's the foramen magnum. So the foramen magnum uh, is uh, the exit point for the spinal cord. So at the back of the brain, there is the medulla oblongata, which transforms into the spinal cord. And uh, the spinal cord emerges through this uh, foramen magnum. So the ventral part of uh, the cranium has a number of uh, foramina and uh, canals for the passage of nerves and blood vessels. So on the ventral aspect, you can see a number of these uh, foramina, quite a lot of them. So these uh, will normally transmit uh, a number of uh, blood vessels as well as uh, nerve. So you can see these particular holes there. There are quite a number of them, and uh, a lot of them under there. So the, the, the majority of them are on the ventral side, but also on the dorsal side you can see a number of them as well you have those there the supraorbital foramina and also the infraorbital foramina on either side but you also have tiny ones that are really uh, most of them are not uh, quite visible but uh, you can see some of them there 
So quite a number of foramina are, you know, characteristic of uh, all skulls. Now, let me mention some of uh, the single bones and uh, paired bones of both uh, the cranium and uh, the face. So I'll begin uh, with uh, the single and uh, paired bones of uh, the cranium. That is uh, the brain case. So I'll just uh, mention them. We have uh, the occipital bone, of course, which is single. But in the young animals, of course, it appears to be paired. But uh, in adults, it ossifies and uh, becomes a single bone. Then we have the sphenoid located somewhere in this region there. And also the ethmoid bone, which I showed earlier, located between the brain case and uh, the nasal cavity. So you can see the positions of those bones. So basically there are may three main uh, single bones of uh, the cranium. Then the paired bones of uh, the cranium include, of course, the interparietal, which is in this region here. It's a small bone that is normally fused with the parietal bone. So you have this as the parietal bone. And of course, you have, uh, you know, this is also on the left and right side, you have uh, parietal bones. Then, of course, you have the frontal bone. And in the goat and uh, the bovine or the cow, you, the frontal bone is the one that bears the corneal process or the horns, these structures here. So this would be the frontal bone. And it is on the frontal bone that you have uh, these uh, structures here, the foramina, which are known as the supraorbital foramina. So then the other bone which is uh, paired is, of course, uh, the temporal, the temporal bone. And it has two parts. There is the square mass part as well as uh, the petrous part of uh, the temporal bone. And the petrous part is the one that contains the external auditory canal. Now I'll talk about, uh, or rather I'll just uh, mention the single bones and paired bones of uh, the face. So in this uh, region of uh, the skull, which is the face region, we have uh, a few single bones. There is the, what is known as uh, the vomer, and uh, the vomer is located uh, in front of the sphenoid bone. That's the vomer there, and uh, it uh, ends up uh, you know, connecting into the nasal cavity as well. Then, of course, you have uh, the mandible, which is not uh, shown in this skull. It has been disarticulated removed this is form this forms the lower jaw this forms the lower jaw in the other video i'll show you the anatomy of uh, the mandible in some detail then we also have uh, a single bone known as the hyoid bone which forms part of um, the what is known as the hyoid apparatus then the paired bones include uh, the maxilla which is uh, this bone there this bone here is uh, the maxilla then also you have uh, the premaxilla on the lower side there, that's the premaxilla. And uh, then you have the pterygoid. The pterygoid is located in this region here, close to the sphenoid, and also the premaxilla. Then, of course, you have uh, the nasal bones being also part of the paired bones. These are the nasal bones. Then uh, you have uh, the lacrimal bone. The lacrimal bone is uh, this bone here. That bone here would be the lacrimal bone. And then, of course, you have uh, the mala, the mala bone, which is uh, that bone there. Then you also have uh, the zygomatic bone. So the zygomatic bone is that bone there. Then, of course, you have uh, the dorsal and uh, ventral turbinate bones. The dorsal and ventral turbinate bones are normally located in the nasal cavity. So these are just, uh, you know, uh, perforated bones that are, you know, arranged in uh, scroll-like uh, structures and uh, they provide uh, a large surface area for epithelium to improve on uh, respiration as well as uh, olfaction within the nasal cavity. So those are the single and uh, paired bones of uh, the skull.